What's going on guys, Mr. Mari here. All right, we're gonna continue with our coin toss workout. Uh, the last couple days we did, right? On Monday we did lower body, then Tuesday we did upper body, and yesterday we did core, our stomach muscles. Today we're gonna work on yoga poses, working on our balance and our strength. Um, half the exercises we're gonna do the yoga poses, we're gonna do standing up, half of them we're gonna do sitting in a chair, because you can always exercise while you're sitting in a chair. You don't always have to stand up to do poses or just do exercise. All right, so we'll show you some of those. But at first, we always have to, but at first, I don't even know if that was good, but at first, at first, let's get warmed up and then we'll get going with the other poses. All right, so we'll leave the coin there. First thing we're gonna do is jog in place like we do normally do, and 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, my favorite calf raise is going up on the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, side lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. All right, trunk twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, let's do some slalom jumps, jumping side to side with two feet. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, we'll do one that's a little bit tougher. We did this last week when we did the aerobic uh, card workout. So we're gonna squat and then kick out to the side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, let's do some forward kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, let's do some press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, hip abduction, so legs going out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, last one, scissor arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, let's have a seat real quick. We'll talk about what we're gonna to do today with the coin and then we'll get started. 
Oh boy. All right, so we have two sides to our coin, right? We have our heads. Uh, I tried to put green marker on it today, and when I was using it with a class, it just wiped off, so I'll put a blue piece of tape. So the blue piece of tape is going to be heads, and the tail side will be the silver side, right? So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pick a yoga pose. We're going to flip the coin to see how many times we're gonna do it. If it lands on heads, the blue side, we do it five seconds. If it lands on tails, the silver side, we'll do it for 10 seconds. And then we'll do that yoga pose again. We're always gonna do the yoga poses two times, but this tells us how many times we're gonna do it. How many times, 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 how many repetitions we're gonna do it. So, first pose we're going to do is going to be real simple. We'll do a tree pose, all right? We gotta figure out how many times we're gonna do it, or how many seconds we're gonna hold it for. And if we do something on the right leg, we also have to do it on the left leg. All right, ready? And we'll flip the coin, boom. And it lands on heads. So we'll hold it for five seconds on each side. So I'll move the chair out of the way. Let's stand up. If you're at school, just make sure you push in your chair and we'll do tree pose. Remember, you can do one of two ways. You can put your foot up against your knee and you can hold out this way or up here. Or if you're not comfortable with the earth, you're gonna fall, you can just put your toe down to the ground and your heel up against the side of your leg. I'm gonna challenge myself, I'm gonna go here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, but if we did it on one leg, we have to do it on the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. All right, second time through. Let's see how many seconds we're gonna hold it for. And flip, and boom. We got heads again, so that's five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Next pose we'll do is moonflower. We did that last week. So you squat down and you're just gonna be here. So it's like a squatting kind of star pose. Right, star pose would be here. This is like a squatting star pose. This is moonflower. Let's see how many seconds we're gonna hold it for. All right. Oh, heads again. We'll hold that for five seconds. Heads is five seconds. All right, so feet apart, squat down, hands up. One, two, three, four, five. And you guys know, anytime we're doing some kind of yoga poses, you wanna keep your back nice and straight unless we're leaning forward. But most of the poses, you're standing up nice and straight and you gotta tighten up your stomach muscles. I know it's weird to tighten them up, but if you go like this to show us your muscles, this muscle tightens up, right? Same thing with your abdominal muscles, your core muscles. When you're doing this, try to see if you can squeeze them, keep them nice and tight as you're doing it. All right, second time for moon pose. Let's see how many seconds we have to hold it for. So far we've been getting a lot of heads. Let's see if we get a tails. Oh my goodness, heads again. Five seconds. Here we go. One, two, tighten up that stomach. Three, four, five. All right, next pose we're gonna do, we're gonna do a one-footed, one-footed, one-footed bird pose. So we're just going to lean as I fall over. Yeah, that makes sense. Here, and whatever we do on one leg, we'll have to do on the other. Man, I'm stumbling all over my words, I'm falling. Ay, 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 all right. Dropping the coin, and boom. Hey, finally, tails. So we'll hold it for 10 seconds on one leg and 10 seconds on the other. I'll show you from the side. Same thing here, you can still tighten up your stomach muscles as you lean forward. You don't want your back to be arched like this, you wanna keep it as straight as you can. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's switch to the other side. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, all right. Let's see if I can not stumble over my words, drop the coin, fall over. Let's see, second time for one footed bird pose. Back to the head, so five seconds on one and five on the other. I'll face forward this time. And go, one, two, three, four, five. Let's switch to the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. All right, next pose we're gonna do is chair pose. So it's kind of a squat and your hands are up here, all right? Tighten the stomach muscles, keep your back straight. You're leaning forward a little bit, but we're getting into that squat position, really working out those quad muscles. All right, here we go, chair pose. And boom, hey, heads again. So five seconds, hold for five seconds. All right, so get into that squat position like you're sitting in a chair. Keep your back straight, stomach tight, hands up. One, two, three, 
four, five. All right, second time through. Let's see what we got. All right, we got tail, so we'll hold it for 10 seconds. 10 seconds here. All right, so squat, back straight, stomach tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose we'll do a nice easy one. Feet apart, star pose. I know it seems easy, but you gotta keep your stomach tight and keep your back as straight as you can. All right, star pose. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Boop. Tail, so 10 seconds. Let's hold it for 10 seconds. So, feet apart, hands out, keep the back straight. Let's tighten up your stomach muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Second time through. Let's see how many seconds we have to hold it for. Heads, so five seconds. Feet apart, hands out. One, two, three, four. Four, five. All right, so like I said, the second half of the yoga pose is what we're gonna do from a chair. So you can sit down now. All right, we also know that there are some people that uh, have to sit in a wheelchair or maybe they have problems with their legs and they need to sit a little bit longer. But does that mean that they can't exercise? No, they can still get some exercise. Last week we did the upper body uh, exercises sitting in the chair. So you can still exercise and be healthy even if you're in a chair or a wheelchair or have some kind of disability. So if you know anybody and you wanna play this game with them, you can, all right? So it's pretty cool that you can still exercise even though you have a disability or you're in a wheelchair or you just need to sit for a little bit longer than some other people. First pose we're gonna do, I'll show you real quick back over there. We're gonna do a twisted eagle pose. I don't know why they call it an eagle pose, it's all twisted up. But anytime we're doing the yoga pose, I'm just gonna show you from the side. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. You don't wanna slouch down into these poses, you wanna sit up nice and straight. So for this one, we're gonna twist our legs up and then we're gonna twist our hands together. Ooh, try to grab our hands and sit up nice and tall. So I'll show you from the side. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. So everything's all twisted up. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall for the amount of seconds that the coin tells us to do. All right, are you ready? Here we go. And flip. Boom. 10 seconds. So we'll hold that for 10 seconds. All right, so again, back nice and straight. Keep your stomach tight. Twist your legs. Twist your arms however you want and grab them. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, second time. Let's see how many seconds we're going to hold this one for. Five seconds. We got the blue side. That's heads. All right. Here we go. So twist up the legs. Twist up the arms. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Next one we're going to do is we're going to do a boat pose. A boat pose, if you were sitting on the ground, you would bring your legs up here and your hands out. So we're going to do the same thing. You don't have to put your legs up as high as uh, your head like when you're doing it sitting down before in the chair. You're just gonna bring them up here and you're gonna put your hands up here, all right? Keep the stomach tight. All right, let's see how long we're gonna do that pose for. All right, here we go, ready? I dropped the coin again. And boom. Gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Boat pose for 10 seconds. If you wanna sit sideways, this way you're not hitting your back up against the chair, you can do that. So I think I'm gonna do that too. So I'm gonna put my feet out. Hands up and hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I really feel that one in the quads because I'm trying to keep them tight there and keep them up. That's good. All right, here we go. Boat pose, second time through. Boop. Five seconds. I'll show you from the other side. You don't have to switch sides if you don't want to, but I'm going to. So hand, feet up, hands up. One, two, three, four, five. All right, real simple, easy one. Sit up nice and tall, and you're going to bend forward and just hold it for five or 10 seconds. This one's called jellyfish for some reason, I guess because jellyfish, they hang down, they dangle like that. So we'll do that, we'll call it jellyfish. Heads, five seconds. All right, I'll show you from the side. So you sit up nice and tall, and you're gonna hang down. One, two, Three, four, five. All right, second set. Let's see how many we got. Tails, 10 seconds. 
All right, here we go. So, so nice and tall, and then lean forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose that we're going to do is going to be the crescent moon. I will show you what that looks like when I go back over, but we've done it before. I'll show you what it looks like standing up. It's just leaning to the side here and holding pose. So we'll do the same thing sitting in the chair. All right, here we go. Boop. 10 seconds. But if we do it on the right, we also have to do it on the left. So same thing, we're in a chair, so we sit up nice and tall, tighten up the stomach muscles, hands up and make a little shape from the sun moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, back up and now we'll go to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. And again, make sure you're sitting up tall at first and tighten up those stomach muscles. All right, here we go. Second round. Oh, that wasn't even a flip. Boop. Heads. So five on one side, five on the other. All right, sitting up tall, tighten up those stomach muscles, hands up, and one, two, three, four, five, and switch. One, two, three, four, five. All right, last pose we're gonna do before the bonus round is warrior one pose. So we know warrior one pose, you put your feet out here and your hands are up here. But we're gonna do it from the chair. So sit in the chair, turn sideways. One foot here and put your toe back. Now put your hands up to the sky, and we'll tighten up those stomach muscles and keep our back nice and straight. We'll do it one way, we'll do it the first time going that way, and then we also have to do it going that way. But let's see how many seconds we're gonna hold it for. Warrior one pose. Five seconds one way, five the other way. All right, so again, sit in the chair, turn sideways, one foot here, toe back here, hands up. Tighten those stomach muscles, keep back nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five. And let's switch to the other side. So again, this foot's out, this toe is on the ground. Back straight, tighten up those stomach muscles. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see what we get for our second round of Warrior One Pose. Tails, so. 10 seconds one way, 10 seconds the other way. In the chair, foot out, toe down, back straight, stomach tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch the other way, back straight, stomach tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we are now on to the bonus round. If you remember how the bonus round works is, I'm going to flip the coin, but before I flip the coin, you're gonna guess is it gonna be heads or tails. If you guess it correctly, you do the exercise for five seconds. If you guess incorrectly, you're wrong, you have to hold it for 10 seconds. Now, if you get it right, but you still wanna hold it for 10 seconds, you always can. All right, so the first pose we're gonna go back to is tree pose, and we'll go down the list again. So the first one is tree pose. Start now, think, do you think it's gonna be heads or tails? You got it locked in? Do you know what you're gonna pick? Yes, Mr. Meyer, we do. Okay, great. All right, it is tails. So if you pick tails, you only have to hold it for five seconds on each side. If you picked heads, it's 10 seconds on each side. I will do it for 10 seconds on each side. If you want to join us for 10 seconds on each side, you can as well. All right, so tree pose. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose will be moon flower. Legs are bent, arms are up here. Almost looking like a crab. All right, so start to think, is it gonna be heads or tails? All right, you got your decision? Yes. Okay, great, here we go. And it is dropped, but it did land on the same side. I'm dropping all the place. Maybe I got butter on my fingers, I don't know. Heads, so if you picked heads, hold it for five seconds. If you had tails, hold it for 10 seconds. But if you picked heads, you wanna hold it for 10 any way you can. All right, feet apart, bend your knees, hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next one we'll do is that one-footed bird pose. 
And whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. All right, start thinking right now as I'm walking over, is it going to be heads or tails? What do you think? You got it? You picked it? You made your decision? All right. It is heads, so if you picked heads, it's five seconds on each side. If you pick tails, it's 10 seconds on each side. All right, here we go. Keep the back nice and flat as you're leaning forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, got to switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose we're going to do is that chair pose. So sit in the chair, stomach tight, back flat, and hands up in the air. All right, start thinking right now. Heads or tails, what do you think it's going to be? All right, here we go. Hopefully you made your decision. And it is tails. So if you pick tails, five. If you pick heads, it's 10. All right, so chair pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, next pose we're gonna do is star pose. Again, look simple, but keep your stomach nice and tight and your back nice and flat as you're doing it. All right, start to think, is it gonna be heads or tails? All right, here we go. That was a terrible flip, let's do it again. Oh, really high one. It's tails, so if you pick tails, five, if you pick heads, it's worth 10. All right, star pose, feet apart. Keep them straight, out like a star, stomach tight, back is flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose we'll do is that twisted up eagle thing, right? All right, and just hold that for either five or ten. Let's see. You think it's going to be heads or tails? All right, you tell me. I just said you tell me. Like you're going to scream it out through the video. It's going to come to me, and I'm going to know what you want. Sometimes with me, I don't know. Pick heads or tails, are you guys ready? And boom. Tails, if you pick tails, it is worth five. If you pick heads, it's worth 10, but you can always hold it for 10 seconds with us. All right, so I'm gonna twist up my legs. Oh, I can't twist them up anymore than that, maybe, can I? Nope, oh, that's gonna break my legs. And here, one, two, all right. Make sure you sit up nice and straight, tighten up those stomach muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Next pose is that boat pose. All right, start thinking right now. Heads or tails? Did you make a decision? Good. It's tails. If you pick tails, five. If you pick heads, it's worth ten. All right, so boat pose to the side. Legs straight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next pose we're gonna do is that jellyfish. So make your decision right now. Is it going to be heads or tails? Boop. Got it on tails. If you pick tails, five. If you pick heads, 10. But you know, if you wanna hold it for 10 seconds to get healthier and more exercise, you can. All right, legs straight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, next pose we're gonna do is that crescent moon sitting down all right heads or tails make your decision now because i flipped the coin already tails so if you pick tails five heads is worth ten but again we gotta do it on one side and then on the other all right sit up nice and tall stomach tight back flat and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's switch to the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten last pose we're gonna do is that warrior one pose so it's just twist in here hold it and then switch to the other side start making your decision now do you think it's gonna be heads or tails all right here we go Boop. tails so if you pick tails five if you pick heads it's ten but you can always hold it for ten seconds all right so sit down one foot out in front, one behind, toe, this foot this flat, hand up, stomach tight, back flat, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, awesome job. 
Now we need to stretch, right? We already warmed up. We played our two activities. Now we need to stretch to help relax our body. Even though yoga is pretty relaxing, tightening up those stomach muscles and the leg muscles, we need to get those to relax, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stretch and help the body and muscles relax. All right, first ex uh, exercise. First stretch we're gonna do, put your heel on the chair, toe pointing to the sky, and lean forward, stretching out the hamstring muscles here. If you're at home and you wanna do figure four stretch instead, you wanna sit on the ground, you can. All right, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you should feel the stretch down the back of the leg right here. Switch to the other side, heel on the chair, toe to the sky, leg is straight, lean forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we did a lot of work with our quad muscles, these big muscles here, our thigh muscles. We're gonna need to stretch them, help them relax. The way we do that is with the quad stretch. So do we put our leg out to the side? No, Mr. Meyer, we don't. Right, exactly, we put it behind our body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch to the other side. And again, with these po with these stretches, you don't have to bounce. You can hold on to something while you're doing it. Because we're not worried about your bounce, we're worried about stretching the muscle properly. So when we're doing a quad stretch, if you're like this and you're bouncing around, you're not stretching the muscle properly, so you can hold on to a chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we'll do the frog slash butterfly stretch. If you want to do butterfly stretch sitting on the ground, but if you're at school, don't sit on the ground. If you're at home, you can sit on the ground and do butterfly stretch, but for us that are at school, we'll just put our feet like this, knees apart, hands in front of your heart, and push your elbows to your knees, push them out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's do the calf stretch. So this leg goes out, toe is on the ground, put your heel to the ground, this leg stays straight. This leg is bent, the one that's in front is bent. You should feel the stretch of the big muscle back here. If you're not feeling it, lean forward a little bit more, but keep your heel on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's switch to the other side. So, toe, then bring your heel to the ground. Keep this leg straight, this leg is bent. If you're not feeling it, what do you do? Lean forward a little bit more, but keep the heel on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's do a couple stretches sitting down and we will be done. All right, so let's go with the shoulder stretch. One arm out, put it across, give it a hug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out, other arm out, put it across and give it a hug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's do the back scratchers. So on arm up, scratch your back and push your elbow back. Who remembers what muscle we stretching right here? The tricep muscle, very good. Hey, I'm surprised you guys got that one. All right, so push it back, feeling the stretch right in here. If you're not, push it back a little bit more and put your hand down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake it out, other arm up, scratch your back, press your elbow back, stretching this tricep, these tricep muscles now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, shake it out. Let's do side neck stretch. 
ear to your shoulder, pull to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And forward neck stretch. Put your chin down to your chest and pull down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, guys, awesome job today. I hope you enjoyed the yoga poses. Tomorrow, we're going to bump it up. We're gonna work really hard. Not that we haven't been working really hard, but this one's gonna really get us working out sweating. Last week, if you remembered, on Friday, we did the anaero uh, not anaero aerobic endurance exercises, and I was sweating at the end. My face was beat red when we played the card game. So the, uh, tomorrow, we'll do it with the coin, and we'll do the aerobic endurance workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And as always, enjoy. Stay safe and stay active.